that's most of the first page of O Holy Night. And as you could see, the left hand, very repetitive. You're in C position and you're playing the three tones of the root C chord. Just breaking it up. That's actually called an arpeggio. So you do this for the whole first line. On the second line, you're going to change just a little bit. C is still there, but you're going to play F and A. So this is the first measure on the second line. This, and then you're like this for the rest of the second line into the third. Now, in the middle of the third line, you're going to move your pinky down to B, third finger to D, top finger stays on G. So it's this. End of the third line, you're back to that C arpeggio. Okay? So again, I'll just run through those hand positions for you in the left hand. You start with the C, E, G. Okay? On the second line, it's C, F, A for a measure, and then back to the C, E, G. On the third line, middle measure, B, D, G. And then back to C E G. Now the right hand. We are going to start with the right hand thumb on this E right here above middle C. And if you do that, this is what it will look like on the first line. Up to G. Keep going. Put four on A in the next line. And then just stretch a little bit up to C. That kind of moves your hand up. So for that last measure of line two, you're here. You can put two on G. Then you stretch just a little bit to E. Here's a finger trick. This is gonna make everything a lot easier, actually. So now you're gonna cross finger two over to D. And at the beginning of the third line, that puts you right here on middle C. And you stay right here. So one more time, up here basically to E position, thumb starts on E. Now stretch just a bit to C, and that moves your whole hand up. Here comes our finger trick. And what you see at the bottom of the first page just repeats what you've already done. So once you get really confident with the right hand alone and just working through those couple of little finger tricks and those changes in the left hand, and by the way, when you're playing the left hand, I do encourage you to use, as you see in the music, the pedal, which you just hold it down. And you will tap. That means lifting your toe and then putting it right back down anytime your chord changes. So when you go to the C, F, A, tap quickly and tap. When you get to the B, D, G, tap and tap. We'll work on your pedaling technique next time. There is a technique to it that makes it sound uh, the best it can possibly sound. So once you're used to all of that, you can certainly try a measure at a time, hands together. The thing that you want to pay attention to in this is the rhythm. The time signature is 6-8. That means not only that there are six beats per measure, but that the eighth note gets one count, okay? So you have all of these eighth notes in the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? A dotted quarter in the right hand gets three counts. One, two, three. A quarter note gets two, four, five. 
and an eighth note gets one, six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So the rhythm is just something to be paying attention to. Six, eight is a very beautiful time signature. It creates that really nice rolling rhythm. Um, that's perfect for this kind of song. As it says at the top of the page, flowing gently. That's what 6-8 is for. So, slowly hands separate, then slowly hands together. See how far you can get on that first page? Start using the pedal as soon as you can, and we'll work more on the pedaling technique next time.